Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you how you can stream content from your Oculus Quest 2 headset using the real link to OBS uh, software so you can actually stream or record videos from the headset and also do this with uh, audio channels separated so you can record both uh, audio on a separate track, uh, the game audio and your voice on two separate tracks. All right, so as you can see, I'm just moving the headset and it's recorded my Oculus Quest 2 headset is connected via the VR link uh, cable to my PC. It's actually just now showing um, Iron Rebellion uh, Alpha demo on, which is a game available via Steam on OBS, all right? You can see here, uh, also have there, you can see uh, two uh, uh, audio channels, both the desktop audio and the mic, uh, I'm going to talk about it in a second, and we're going to use for this OpenVR, um, which is open source, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this, and you can record videos, by the way, you can actually do different cropping and stuff, and actually I'm just recording at a higher resolution, at a 15, uh, 1450, sorry, 1440 by 1080, so I can actually, when I create a video, I can actually reposition things so usually what you want to do is record the lower part of the screen you know so by doing this i can actually reposition it in a video editing software to get really good footage all right so let's jump into it and i'll show you how i've done it now for those of you who don't have obs software uh, first download the software uh, as you can see it's called uh, obs studio just google obs studio and the first result you can actually uh, i'm going to link to it now uh, at the bottom so you can see the link and just download it for, um, uh, by the way, I'm using Windows, I demonstrate this on Windows, so I download the Windows, I'm downloading the installer, I'm, I'm installing it on my Windows, all right? So make sure you just download OBS first, because everything will be uh, about this particular software. It's open source, doesn't cost any money, so it's free, download it, and continue on. The next one, what we need is a plugin for uh, OBS software, which is called uh, OpenVR. All right, I'm going to link everything, all the links in the description of this video. So make sure you check it out. So you can just easily just tap the link and just go to uh, the exact page. So you can actually download directly from there. So basically uh, what we need, uh, keep in mind that uh, we need the latest version. As of the time of making this video, uh, OBS OpenVR input plugin version 1.5 is the latest. By the time you see this video, you might see um, a newer version. All right, again, this is also open source, so it's free. You can just download it. Now, to download it, we need to go to a particular page, which is the releases, which is this one. Make sure, again, you check out the link in the description of this video. And I'm also going to put this in this video so we can see the link. And this will bring you to a page where you can actually download. We don't need a source code. We need uh, a specific uh, file, which is called, as you can see, if I scroll down, Assets under assets, there's OBS OpenVR input plugin version 1.5. Again, the version can be different. If I scroll down, I can see other versions. So by the time you see this, there might be a higher version. So download the latest one. So just uh, use this one, click it, or right save and uh, save uh, locally to your computer because we're going to need this zip file uh, in order to um, use the plugin and import it into OBS software. After you've done that, we're going to move on. All right, so as you can see, I downloaded the, the file. This is the file. If you by mistake downloaded this one, Input Plugin Master, this is not the right one. You need to download again OB, uh, OBS OpenVR Input Plugin, all right? And the version, you can see the version, this zip file, all right? Uh, after you've done that, you need to extract it. I personally just extract it locally, right clicking, and I just extract it uh, to. Uh, local file here, all right? All right, so we've created a folder. Inside the folder, uh, there are different uh, two folders and a readme file, all right? What we need to do is just, uh, we need to copy, uh, we can just copy all of this, by the way, even with the readme. You just control A, you select everything, uh, control C, and we need to copy this to the original installation location of OBS software where it was installed. So as you can see here that I'm inside the OBS Studio folder. 
This is, for me, it's on C, Program Files, OBS Studio. I, by the way, using Windows 10. So what I'm doing here, I need to right click and paste, right click and paste it. Uh, now we're gonna see this, you see copying 11 items from, from the plugin folder to OBS Studio. The destination is five files with the same names. What we need to do is uh, tap replace the files in destination, all right? Now, if you get this, you need to provide administrator permission to copy to this folder. Uh, we need to do this, do this for all current items and click continue. Everything will now be copied, all right? And do this again. Ah, this is by the way happens because my uh, OBS is actually open in another software. Uh, sorry, the OBS software is opened. Make sure you close it and uh, try it again. All right, make sure your OBS software is closed. Mine is currently open, so I need to close it. All right, and if I close it and I try again, everything will be fine. All right, so we actually overridden some of the files of the original installation with the one uh, from the plugin. All right, after you've done this, we can move on. Alrighty, the next thing we need to do is launch OBS. All right, after you launch the software, OBS software, we need to go to the sources panel and here a right click and we need to click add. And then here we have a list of all the sources that we can actually capture from. We need to choose open VR capture. This option was enabled by the plugin that we just installed. So when we click open VR, right? Uh, here you can give any different name that you like. And then you can see actually what you see with your Oculus Quest 2 connected via the VR link to your PC. And you can see actually what you're seeing here, all right? It won't work if you have Oculus Link VR cable enabled. You need to enable it uh, in the settings of your Oculus Quest 2. All right, here you have different options, by the way, uh, for crop right eye only, you can disable it, you can choose the cropping, there's some presets here, all right? There isn't any preset here for the Oculus uh, Quest 2, all right? Keep this in mind, all right? There's no option for this. Uh, what I do, by the way, personally, I can just, you see, I can crop top, there's uh, for no cropping, you can just crop top if I want to, there's another options for this. But what I do is usually uh, I choose um, this one, all right, the default one with no cropping. And I recorded uh, in this resolution because if you go back, we see OK. In OBS, I have the option to go to settings. All right, and choose if you go to video, we can choose the resolution of the canvas. Now you can choose it for, for example, full HD. The reason I choose this resolution is because I want, uh, I can, by the way, uh, record with the default resolution of what's here, if I want to, but I use uh, this resolution 14 by 40 1080p. So this would actually be output like this. And then when I bring it into a video editing software, I have more room to actually position the scene inside my full HD canvas in the video editing software. All right, so I kind of more room to play. So basically I, I went personally with this resolution for the canvas in OBS, but you can choose something else, right? Um, so what I did, I did okay. Now I can actually reposition. So the thing is that my scene, because it's not cropped, is already larger, right, than the canvas. But the thing is that I can actually just drag it and reposition it. Usually you prefer the lower bottom part, focusing on this, you know, sometimes you record and uh, you see uh, the record of the, we are not actually showing the bottom, all right? So basically I can reposition it whatever I like, all right? So I can actually put it here or put it there, all right? So it's up to me to reposition it the best way. I have plenty of room to play with this, as you can see, all right? Because I haven't got the cropped version. So it's actually the one with the red borders. This is the non-cropped, but I can reposition it inside the canvas of the OBS. So give it a really nice kind of room of adjustments. Right, and of course, this can be good for streaming or just recording a video directly uh, from the headset. Right, so that's how I do it. 
all right so repositioning i think this would be nice it'd be fun again i can actually just look at the headset stand straight all right just put it there taking a look maybe i'm going to put it right here in the middle that would be like perfect all right and then we created the source it's available here of course you can add other things but now i'm going to show you after you you've done that how you can say separate for different audio tracks so you can have one audio track available for the game audio and the other one for your voice all right so you want two separate tracks because you might want to edit the audio tracks later and maybe make the volume of the uh, of the game lower or your voice higher and you want those tracks both your voice and the game to be separated uh, when you bring into a video editing software for example maybe DaVinci Resolve so first of all you need to create a uh, audio source for each channel so you can see I already have desktop audio and mic all right if you go by the way to the settings all right the properties you see that here for me I chose this one uh, for my speakers the reason for this is because my, my headset is connected to my laptop and I'm actually hearing from the headset. So basically, the OBS will pick up the game audio from uh, the speakers of my headset, all right? But if you are playing this on your PC without the headset, you can actually choose something else, uh, you know, uh, where your audio of the game is coming from, all right? So this is the option for that. Uh, for the microphone, as you can see here, I go to properties, you can see that I also chose the microphone of my headset because when I'm talking right now, even right now, it's recording from the microphone of my headset. All right? You can choose whatever you like, of course, here. It depends on the microphone that you are actually using. Uh, sorry, I'm going to just uh, cancel. Once you have two of them, by the way, uh, you can actually measure. You see that I'm speaking right now. It's picking up the microphone. If the game, by the way, was active, you would see here. Uh, audio coming from the game all right so two separate tracks but just creating those two doesn't mean that you will be recorded in two separate tracks all right it's just an audio mixer all right recognizing each channel but we need to tell obs that we want two separate tracks the way to do this we need to go to uh the settings all right uh now we need to go to output all right here by the way you're gonna have different options if you go, it's going to be by default for simple, uh, by the way, uh, and depends on the version that you're using, all right? Uh, I'm using uh, OBS 2713, all right, at the time of making this video. I personally needed to go to output mode. In terms of simple, choose advanced, all right? And when I choose advanced, I can actually go to, depends on what you're doing, you see streaming, recording, all right? So if I want to record, for example, a video, I need to go here. And I have different options here too for audio tracks. Basically, I wanted to choose two audio tracks, all right? If you choose this one, everything will be recorded to a single track. But here, this is the two audio tracks that are enabled for the recorded video, all right? I choose also MP4, as you can see here, you choose the encoder. But the most important thing is making sure you choose the number of tracks that you want. You can create more, by the way, not just two. But for this demonstration and for what I needed for gameplay, I just wanted gameplay invoice, I chose two. Now doing this is not enough. This is just setting up that the recorded, uh, recording will have two tracks. So what we need to do is apply or K, all right? And now we need to assign those two to different tracks. So basically the desktop audio, if I'm gonna press here, and I go to uh, advanced audio properties, all right? Uh, you can see, by the way, it, by the way, it's, you don't need to press for each one. You just tap advanced audio properties. It's just a single window. Here I can actually see uh, what's actually was in the mixer, right? I see the desktop audio and the microphone. If you go to the right side, you can see the tracks, all right? And then you can actually assign which audio go to which track so i decided that desktop audio will go to track one so only one is selected all right and the microphone the voice audio all right my voice over sound will go to track two so only two is selected all right after i finish this one i can close it 
And now, when I record a video, all right, again, this can be uh, the same for, by the way, uh, streaming. But the thing is that when we're recording video, we want to edit it. We want, again, to have uh, the recording option. Because for streaming, there might be some other options that I'm not aware of. But this was done to show you how we can record a video with two different tracks. So you can edit it in a video editing software, which I'm going to show you in a moment as well. So you can start recording. And once you record and finish your recording, you finish recording. We're going to have a video with two separate audio tracks for both the game audio and your voice. All right. So as you can see, I already recorded some footage from a game with OBS with the same way I actually showed you earlier. All right. After I finished and the video was ready, I finished recording, I import the video into DaVinci Resolve. All right, before we end this video, I want to show you that it works. Uh, we're going to uh, import the video that I recorded using OBS into DaVinci Resolve 17. So I just drag in the clip that I recorded into the timeline. And you can see they can actually see there are two channels already for the audio. Remember one, the first one is the game audio, game sound. The other one is my voice, all right? And if we play it, let's search a uh, uh, moment we can actually play with a both action and some voiceover. Here we go. So I'm going to stop. Now we're going to play. Everything that you hear right after I'm clicking play is the voice from the video, all right? And the game audio. So I'm pressing play and hear the recording. Coming. Oh, here is one. Here is one. No! Reload! So as you can see, you hear both my sound, uh, the game sound and the audio. And because there are two separate channels, I can actually go here to Fairlight and actually Chili can uh, change the volume, all right? So I'm going to press play. You're going to hear again the my voice and the game voice. We're going to talk about the resolution in a second. And I'm going to play with those uh, volume so I can actually see that all right so I'm going to press play for now I'm not going to talk just press uh, play with the volumes of each channel so many of them help I'm low Shoot him! Nice! Oh, we died! Oh. Cool, huh? So I can control each channel uh, separately. Now, regarding resolution, the clip that I actually imported <coughs> is actually larger, all right? Higher resolution. So basically, this is the canvas. You can always see the black bars. But the reason I recorded in higher resolution is because I wanted to be able to just in increase the resolution. Uh, sorry, zoom in, right, enlarge the video and actually make it fit to full HD. And then because of that, I'm able to actually be able to reposition it, right, the way I want to. So if it's just too much, too high, I can actually bring it here, all right? So I can really play with this, all right? Just make it fit and I can play with this to actually show fun, all right? Let me just uh, reduce the audio here. Just going to reduce the audio for both tracks. I can actually speak over. All right, so you can see here, I can just uh, play around with this and make sure that uh, the part that I want users to see is actually uh, focused inside. Uh, so this is probably too low, so I'm probably going to do uh, something like that. Re oh, sorry, reposition. Just sorry, here. You can reposition it like that. All right. Now keep in mind the some games have a uh, spectator mode, which allows you to see a uh, much uh, wider field of view, wide angle. So it's better for actually streaming compared to just the first person that you see from inside the headset. All right. It's something you can do as well. So I recommend if you have this option for the game, choose that. All right. So as you can see here, you can play with the different uh, cropping, with the different, uh, and then bringing it into the virtual resolve play with the sound, play with the repositioning uh, of the video, and lots of flexibility options there. So this is it for this video. I hope you find this one useful. If you have any specific questions, 
ask them in the comment section below and I do uh, the best to answer them as soon as possible. So again, finishing here, any questions in the comment section, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.